Hey YouTube land, how we doing? Phil here, welcome back to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. As always, I've got another song section to break down for you in detail today. In today's lesson, I'm gonna be teaching you how to play Send My Love to Your New Lover by Adele. Let's get into it. The section we're learning today is the chorus from our intermediate level arrangement, and that section sounds like this. Yeah, 100%. Hey, if you don't know already, Playground Sessions is an interactive app, and that 100% that just popped up, well, that was my score from the app. Anything you play in the app spits back a score, and it's pretty awesome, so check out that app. But hey, we got a lesson to dig into here in today's video, so we're gonna start by breaking down the right hand first. Here we go. The key signature for this arrangement is two sharps. That puts us in the key of D major. Time signature is cut common time. We see a capital C with a line through it. That's common time cut in half. So we're basically 4-4, four, four, but we're feeling this in a half time feel. Now let's talk notes. We're gonna be pretty high up here, and our very first note is a D, an octave above middle C. And we're gonna get into this huge D major triad with an octave root. We're gonna get into that position to start. And let's just start talking through these notes. First three notes are Ds. One and two, then we go to F sharp, three and four. Then we're jumping all the way up to a high D, our pinky's already there, D, D, A. That's A with our third finger. So there's that position, D major chord. All right, then we rest, and the next phrase, we play the same A, but this time we're gonna put our fourth finger on it. Thumb on D again. Now back up to A, A, B, A, G, F sharp, E. Now look ahead. Next line, we see a D with our two finger. We're going to bring our two finger over, and then we're going to put our thumb on that D. So two on D, thumb on D. And then three on F sharp, another one, two on E, D, D, F sharp, F sharp. We have an eighth rest in the next measure. A couple of Ds in a row. Next measure, all quarter notes. D, F sharp, F sharp and E. Now we're halfway through this section and the good news is the second half is exactly the same as the first, although there are a couple of additional measures at the end. But what we've done so far, those eight measures, the next eight measures are the same. So let's get into that now. Measure 33 if you're looking at the numbers in the notation on screen. Uh, and that looks like this. Rest. Right, so just like we did before, A, B, A, G, F sharp, E, two over to D, and then thumb on D. F sharps, E, Ds, F sharps. Now here again, eighth rest, D, 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 F sharp, F sharp, E. So that much was the exact copy of the first half. Now we move on, right? We have four more measures. We play a D. We tie it over to a half note, and then we rest in the right hand for the remainder of this section. All right, so that's all there is to it. We've still got a little work to do here, playing this in time, and we're gonna do that in just a sec. I'm gonna cue up our backing track, and we're gonna play along with the band. But first, I wanna remind you guys something I said up front in the beginning of this video, and that is, when we're done with it, you gotta learn the rest in the app. And I'm bringing it back up again because I wanna say that we're doing a free trial of the app right now to say thank you to the YouTube fans. That's you guys. So thanks for watching these videos. I think you should be able to finish the full song after learning one section with me in the app for free. So that's why we're doing the free trial. It's 30 days, all access, no strings attached. You don't have to pay anything to play. So you get in there, you can try it for 30 days. If you love it, you can sign up for a membership. If you don't, you can cancel, no strings attached. So click the link in this video's description or tap that card above to sign up for your free account in the app today. Well anyways, let's get back to it guys. I wanna bring in the backing track and try this right hand part at a slow tempo. We're gonna be working on even timing, but we're not gonna do it at full speed just yet. That'll come next. Let's try it, slow tempo right hand, here we go. 
two, set, go. rest for the remainder of this section. All right, pause, rewind, play back with me at the slow tempo as needed, but when you're ready, let's try full speed now. One, two, set, go. Hey, another 100%, awesome. All right guys, there's the right hand. Now it's time to shift gears to the left. Let's talk about this harmony part, ready? The left hand part for this section, guys, luckily is not very difficult. Let's go over it now. The first chord we have is a D fifth. We've got whole notes, we're gonna play four of them. Our second chord of two chords is B minor over D. All we need to do is shift one note of the current chord. So we keep our D the same, we move A up to B. That's it. We do four of those. Then we go back to D. Same thing. We do four Ds. Then we go to B minor over D again. Same thing. Finally, at the very end, we shift the rhythms around a bit, but we still have that same D chord. We just play quarter note, and then we rest for the remainder of the measure. And that's what we do for each of these four measures. So guys, why don't we try just playing this at full tempo? I think we're ready to dive in right now. One, two, set, and go. Now B minor. Back to D. And B minor again. Now here comes the quarter notes, ready? Back to D and rest. D. And that's how you get 100% right there in the left hand. So guys, all that's left is now to put the hands together. Let's just jump right in, come on. One, two, set, go. So there we have it at the slow tempo. Final step is to speed it up. But quickly, let me just point out a little tip. Obviously, we can spend more time focusing on the right hand for this section than the left hand, right? Left hand is whole notes, and it barely moves even out of its one chord shape. There's just two chords, and they're barely moving. So we can spend most of our effort and attention on the right hand. I also want to encourage you to practice this many times at the slow tempo, getting 100% before moving on. Don't move on after the first time you got 100%. Maybe try 10 times at 100%, okay? Then move on to the full speed, and that's what we'll do now to wrap up this video. Come on, let's go.
100% again. Guys, the app is super fun, and not just because it gives you 100% when you play a section right, but because there's so much more going on, even beyond just song lessons. Yeah, we have the full song and all difficulty levels for every song in the app, but we also have boot camp lessons, courses on things like scales, chords, rhythms. We've got a ton of things in the app that make learning to play the piano really fun. So you gotta check it out, and you gotta take advantage of that free trial. One more time, click that link that just popped up. I'm gonna give you that opportunity to take advantage of that free trial. All right, you've had your chance. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Phil, I'll see you guys on the next video lesson. Take care. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.